I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Hogwarts Legacy was just released. HBO announced that they were going to be doing a Harry Potter TV series sticking true to the novels. And today, magic was delivered. That's right, the Accio crate just arrived. My owl got here and without a second to spare. I was getting antsy for this box. They are doing a quarterly box now instead of a monthly box. So now we have to wait a few months in between getting our magic delivered. However, you can see this box is bursting at the brim. There is enough. It's bursting here. There is a cut here that is bursting. It's bursting everywhere. So that means there's a lot of magic inside this box ready to burst out. I'm excited to open it up and I hope y'all are as well. Without further ado, let me open up this box. But as I'm opening up the box, if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Harry Potter content. I've done a bunch of Hogwarts Legacy videos and I do a bunch of mystery box unboxing videos. So feel free to check out my others. It does really help out me and my channel. Thank you so much in advance for doing so. Without further ado, magic delivered. And you can see already we have magic flying out of the box. A lot in this box It is packed to the brim. We have our cheat sheet on top, which let me set the box down first. But let's take a look at this cheat sheet, which the front of it, the back has our items on it, but the front of this cheat sheet looks amazing. Could be potential something you hang on the wall. It does look awesome. It would be nice if it did have more in English on the front. It looks like it has a bunch of different languages that I can't read, but it is a cool hanging art piece that you can put up on your wall. Without further ado, let's get into Herbology. Now the first item I see popping out of the box is a t-shirt. So I'm gonna open up this t-shirt and it's green, which is always nice. I love it when, when companies don't do the traditional black t-shirt. There are a bunch of mystery box companies that always go with a black t-shirt base and I don't like it. I like having colors in my life. I like wearing colors that aren't black. What am I, Wednesday Adams? I don't like to wear black all the time. So let's take a look at this shirt. And we have a green shirt. It says Greenhouse established 1255 Herbologist and Master Gardener. So that is actually a fantastic shirt. It's green. The colors of the lettering stand out. A really nice shirt. You see there is a three in the middle of this shirt. Nothing on the back except it does say Magic Delivered. So that's a nice touch on the back. Again, very nice colors. The white lettering and then the lightning symbol green does stand out. And all of the items inside of this Herbologist shirt do stand out. So really nice item to start the crate. I'm digging this shirt. Akio always does a very fantastic t-shirt that immerses you in the Harry Potter world. So this is a fantastic item to start the crate. Now let's take a look at our next item. What do I want to pull out? Let's, let's pull out this one box. And let's see. It says the Pomona Cafe. Well, it's, it's a 12 ounce mug made of premium ceramic, it's dishwasher and microwave safe, which is awesome because a lot of these mystery boxes, not necessarily Akio, but a lot of mystery boxes, I do get mugs in or glasses that aren't dishwasher safe, which isn't the end of the world, but it makes it so I don't wanna use it as much because I don't wanna hand wash anything. I have a dishwasher for a reason. So let me get out this ceramic mug and take a look at this one. It looks like a pot for plants and it says Herbology Club right on the front. This is such a cool mug. It looks like a potted plant or a pot for plants. It has Herbology Club on it. Although maybe it would have been nice if the Herbology Club was 
in a different color rather than the rest of the mug so it would stand out a little bit more however that's my only complaint about this mug this is a really cool item it feels if you have ever felt a pot for plants it feels exactly like this maybe the same material so really nice material for this mug I don't know how it's going to work out with coffee if it is that potted plant that pot material but it is still a really cool item that says Herbology Club on it nothing on the back but Herbology Club a mug that looks like you could actually put a plan there and I'd be willing to bet that there are going to be a lot of people who see this mug and actually do pot small plants in here and you can use it for that it's it may be what they intended when they gave you a mug you can either drink coffee out of it water or you can actually pot a plant in here so that is another fantastic item it's actually a decent mug too you can see the size of it Compare it to my face. My face isn't that big anyway. So it's almost, almost the size of my face. It did say on here that what? It was a 16, no, a 12 ounce mug. So it's a normal size mug, but the mug looks pretty big anyway. So another great item to start. The Pomona Cafe. It would be nice to say Pomona Cafe on here instead of just Herbology Club. Maybe Pomona Cafe on the back. Nothing on the bottom. But because it is microwave and dishwasher safe, you don't need any reminders that it's not either of those. So that's cool as well. Now let's get into this next item. This may be like a... What? Look at this. We have mandrake seeds. I don't know if this... It does open. So we're going to pop this out, pop out these mandrake seeds before I open this. Just a small disclaimer. These are mandrake seeds. I don't know how loud their screeching is. You may want to put in some something in your ears just in case. They might make you faint. I'm not liable if you do faint and there's loud screeching going on. I'm sorry if that happens. Just make sure you put on your earmuffs to lessen the sound. We don't need any long bottoms fainting, okay? So let's take a look. <sighs> And look at these mandrake seeds. You have, I mean, this, it, it looks like it's sleeping. So lucky us, it's sleeping. Eyes are closed. We don't have to worry about it shouting. Luckily, I didn't wake it. I'm going to take out a couple of others. This one's wide awake, but, oh, very happy. It has a happy look on its face. So it's not screeching, just happy to be here. Let's take a look at some of these other. There's actually, I'm going to count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six seeds in here. And I'm going to make the assumption that all of them have a different look on their face. This one ain't too happy. But it ain't screeching yet. I'm not going to faint. Hopefully y'all don't either because we don't want to hear any screaming. That was one I already pulled out. Oh, we have a really angry one. This dude, look at his eyebrows. You can tell because of his eyebrows that he's angry. Uh, we don't want to mess with that one. Well, we got a couple of happy ones in here. I think this is another happy one. It looks like we have a couple of happy ones, and there's one that's like yawning or kind of crying. Actually, it's crying. It's crying. It's actually that's actually supposed to be there. If you can see, this is meant to be tears. I was actually about to rip that off. It's very seems like it's easily that you can rip it off. None of the others. Some of them have like this stuff on. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not. Like. It has the plastic on it, but like that kind of adds a little bit, makes it look like it's actually crying. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be there because it's on the ears as well, but some of them like have it in different places. I don't know if it's a feature, like it's not on this one's eyes, but it's on its ears. I don't know, but this one's happy. Anyway, we have our Mandrake Seeds bag, and of course, if you want to use the bag for something you can empty out our mandrake seeds and put anything you want inside of the bag that will fit there is no handle on it which does make it a little less usable but it is a cool bag as well now let's examine the bag a little bit because i didn't check out the bag as much as i was the mandrakes inside so let's take a look it does say mandrake seeds on the top and it says three sickles on the left side of the bag if we continue going down guaranteed to sprout 
we have our mandrake and then it says shrillest screams lucky enough we didn't hear any screams wasn't going to make us faint or petrify us or anything along those lines now planting instructions are on the back we're gonna have to read this of course Mandragora has long been considered to be an essential addition to the collection of the committed herbologist. This species requires the care of an experienced gardener and can be very dangerous if handled incorrectly. When to plant outside. And then it has actually, what's really cool, it says when to plant outside. You have different colors of the region and you have here the different dates with their different colors. So May 15 to 31, you're going to see is down in this region. Then you have June 1 to 13 is in this region. June 14 to 30 is up here and over here. July 1 to 10 is over here. And then July 11 to 21 is up here. That is just great attention to detail out of Akio. I actually love this bag. It's so cool. Planting depth, three inches. Seating space in two inches. Report after 45 days and days to harvest, 280 days. This is actually such a cool item. Not as usable as some of the other items, of course, that we've seen already, but it's just a cool item to have and especially one to add to a Harry Potter collection. So this is actually a really cool item. Again, not the most usable item. You can empty out the seeds from the bag and use it for something if you so choose. However, it's a cool item to add to a Harry Potter collector's edition. So a great item inside with the mandrake seeds, of course, for any herbologist. Now for our next item. Let's see, it looks like a tin. A little bit of a tiny tin, but a tin. I have to figure out what to put in this tiny tin. Here's plastic around. I'm throwing that plastic out. But let's take a look. We have Quality Seeds, Finest Sprouts, Happy Mandrake Seed Company. Magical seeds on the top. Inside, nothing inside. The top is connected. You can't remove it too much if you wanted to. But I like that it's connected so I can't lose the top. Then please note, may contain carnivorous, poisonous, and or venomous seeds or seedlings. Handle with care. Winner of the Wizard's Choice Awards for Botanical Excellence. Full germination guaranteed. Garden Gnome approved. And highest of quality potion plants. So a fantastic item. Very detailed. And just looks great. The image is clear. The words are clear. Nice item. A little small of an item. You can use it. It's usable to put smaller items in here. I would like this to be a little bit bigger. But as we saw with the magical crate when we opened it, there was really no room. So this probably fit perfectly in there. Again, I'm going to have to find smaller items to put in here. Kind of like a small candy jar, if you will, putting tinier candies in here. Maybe some Hershey Kisses or something. Or maybe like actual seeds. If you are a gardener, you could probably put those seed packets in here just to keep them for storage until you want to plant them. So it can be used for that legit herbology inside of this tin. Now on to our next item inside the crate. We have a bunch of items. Hey, this book is heavy. It is probably a journal. Professor Porcini's Guide to Mushrooms in Magic. So let's open it. I'm assuming it's a journal, but it'd be cool if there's some writing in there. There's something that I can read. Dun, 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 dun. It is a journal. I have said this. If I say it once, I'm going to say it 200 times over. Akio, if you're listening to me, contact J.K. Rowling. Ask her if she can write up something small for us Akio readers. An exclusive Akio tiny book that we can read that just gives us more Harry Potter lore or something along those lines. That would be so cool to just open this book, Mushrooms in Magic, and read about some magical plants or something. The tiny short story from Professor Porcini. That would be fantastic to have. Granted, let's be honest, you take a look at this journal and this is just phenomenal. 
The front looks stunning. The side, this book or journal looks absolutely amazing. Here's the back. It looks fantastic and is a great addition to your bookshelf. However, I would have loved, loved some form of Harry Potter content inside of this for me to read more about the wizarding world. I don't use journals much. We're in the day and age where I use my computer for everything I need when I need to write something. But nonetheless, again, this would look nice on a bookshelf. It's stunning. I would have loved some Harry Potter content in here, though. On to our next item, and as I'm going through this, we are almost at the end of the box. A few more items. Let me know in the comments section what your favorite item from the box was as I'm going through. Let's make sure that you hit whatever item you love the most. And now we have a Pomona Cafe spoon set. Look at this. This magical spoon shovel spoon set is stainless steel, dishwasher safe, and... Herbologist approved. Can't beat that. Stainless steel and Herbologist approved. You can't get them anywhere else except the Pomona Cafe. You probably can, but let's say these. Look at these. We're going to have to take these out and just look at these spoons that look like a shovel. We have a three in the middle. They're stainless steel. On them, inside of the three, it says return. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. Return to Greenhouse 3. So now we know what the 3 on our shirt means. It is Greenhouse 3. And then on here, looks like we have one of our Mandrake seedlings. And again, this well, this one actually says Property of P. Sprout. So that's pretty cool. We have one that says Return to our Greenhouse 3 with a 3 on our spoon. And then we have one with a mandrake that says property of Professor Sprout. This is a really dope item. Loving this one. I, I'm having trouble putting them back in. No worries. I'm going to use these spoons anyway. So I'm not going to worry about putting them back in. I'll put that down there for now. Couple more items, y'all, and then we are done. Take a, I'm going to have to break this one out. We have a mushroom head. This looks like a pen. This is actually a really unique pen. If I can open it sometime before my mandrake seeds sprout, that would be phenomenal. But I'm struggling. Struggling to open this. If only my wands weren't on the wall and I was too lazy to get them, I'd be able to open this a little bit quicker. But here we go. We have a mushroom it looks like a pen and I just was trying to pull the cap off and actually I pulled the entire thing out. I'll put that back up there. But a cool item. Really unique. Even when you run out of ink, you can still put this somewhere and it is a really unique item. The craftsmanship on this, this feels like nice. It's, it's just a nice item. It is a light, so you probably don't want to like try and snap it over your leg or something because it'll probably break pretty easily. But this is a really cool item. Again, another usable item that you can use to jot down your notes in that journal that we just got. So a nice pairing of a pen and our journal. Now on to the next item. We have some form of bag that has no marking on it whatsoever so it's a mystery bag i wonder what's inside of our mystery bag we're pulling it out and it is still a mystery because i have this wrapping around whatever is inside i'm going to continue unlocking this mystery let's see we have i'll take out everything it looks as though we have markers of some sort not actual like writing markers, but markers that you stick in the ground. I'm going to take out all of them. Well, let's take a look. We have Wolf's Bane. Keep off. Let's stick that in the ground. We got Wolf's Bane when you have Wolf's Bane. 
Handmade Sprouts. Caution. Hopping Toadstool Crossing. That's a good one. And let's see what else we have. So we have... Strangler Figs. Sorry, I was having trouble reading that in the camera. Strangler Figs is another one. We have a Caution We Bite. <laughs> Story of my life. And then we have a Deadly Nightshade. So a bunch of signs that you can hang up on the wall. Maybe put in your garden if you have a garden. Or somewhere that you have a Harry Potter diorama you can put them in there too so a bunch of cool little signs or you could also use them as a bookmark honestly that's what i was thinking i could use them as is just using these as a bookmark they are i don't want to say insanely sturdy it feels as though if i bent them too much they'd snap but they are you can see the thickness of them they aren't paper thin they aren't extremely thick but they're sturdy enough to be a bookmark if you so chose to use them as a bookmark. Now let's see. We have cards for the care and keeping of herbology specimens. Then on the back we have plant name, birth slash adoption date from watering, humidity level. So we have some place cards. And of course you can use these for any type of plant that you are putting in the ground. And it also has an ear must require toxic to pets. Make sure the ear must required one is going to be extremely important. So you know if you're going to have to wear ear muffs while planting and keeping some of your herbological specimens. And I think we are down to the last item in the box. Caution! Don't feed the carnivorous plants and you can see down here there's already a bite out of this a carnivorous plant got to this sign lucky it didn't take off any of our writing but a cool sign to hang up nothing on the back except the made in china sticker cool item to put on your harry potter wall with all of your other harry potter items like an olivander's wand hanger that is it for the box let me know in the comments section what your favorite item from that box was. We went through a ton of items, and I'm just looking over the cheat sheet right now, and there's a lot. I'm not going to go back through them all. Hopefully, you were paying attention in this video to see which item was your favorite. There are a ton of fantastic items in this box to choose from. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite item was. Mine, I am going with the spoons for this one. These are awesome. Just their shape of the shovels, the attention to detail. We have Return to Greenhouse 3. We have Property of Professor Sprout with the Mandrake on there. These are just so cool. Now, I haven't tested these out when it comes to actual spoon use. So hopefully they hold up decent as spoons. But these are so cool that... This is my favorite item from the box, but a lot of great items to choose from that anybody getting this box, especially a Harry Potter fan, would be happy to get. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a magical rest of your day, and until next time, peace.